सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम डिस्कसिंग यूएचवी थ्री एंड इन यूएचवी थ्री वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट लेक्चर नाइनटीन सो वीव बिन रिफ्लेक्टिंग ऑन दिस फॉर अ वाइल नाउ वॉट वी सी वेन वी आर लुकिंग at this coexistence depends on which activities we have awakened to so if we go back just a little bit can you go back to and um, yeah little uh, maybe one more slide back yeah okay so now when we are seeing through just the sensation when we are seeing things supposing we have awakened largely to selecting tasting then our focus even though we may think of the coexistence and all of those things our focus is on the units and in between the units what we see is a gap so what we say is these units are there and there is nothing in between this is how we look at it so our focus is not our focus is on the units not on the space between the units can you can you see that like now also we see like we were talking we may see two trees or two human beings but in between we see some gap some void like there is nothing or we might say there is air because we have read that but essentially our focus is on the units not on that absence not on that um, nothingness then as we awaken to so the analyzing and comparing then we start seeing the impact of one unit on another unit so now we may think that okay there is not just this gap because something is happening like we took the example of when the sun comes up you go out in the sunlight you feel the warmth on the body on the skin of your body so you can see that there is some impact even though the sun is so many you know thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away still the impact is there the sunlight is there it falls on the earth the warmth is there from the sun and it is impacting you it is impacting the body so you are able to see the effect of one unit on another unit when you awaken to or when you are using the activity of analyzing and comparing but we are still not seeing what is at the base what is in the essence the three things that we talked about which are definite which are continuous so the natural characteristic or the participation of a unit with another unit that part when we awaken to the activity of contemplation then we start seeing that every unit seems to be somehow do be doing its role in a very well defined manner so if you look at the body then you wonder how all these trillions of cells keep working in such a well defined manner that things don't go wrong i mean to a large extent things 
stay in harmony till we mess with them. And we find that we make many wrong choices, so we mess with things in the body. But by and large, the body, the cells, they seem to be working together in a very nice way, in a very well-defined, very definite manner. So the liver is doing its job, the kidney is doing its job, the heart is pumping blood, the digestion is going on, the circulatory system is working so well. Now, all of this has so many trillions and trillions of cells. How all these cells are participating with one another and are able to keep this whole body in harmony, that you start seeing. So you may start seeing with one unit and then you expand your vision to see this for other units. And ultimately, you will be able to see it for all the units. So when we awaken to the activity of contemplation, we start seeing this relatedness between the various units and how they interact with one another, how they participate with one another and they play their part. Then when we awaken to the activity of understanding, then we are able to see that this, you know, this whole participation that is happening, the cells that have come together, what is working together, they are all maintaining such perfect harmony. How is it happening? How is it that if you look at the body again, all these organs are working so well together. Despite all these cells being independent, they are working together and they are able to keep the body in harmony. So similarly, now we start seeing this innateness, this self-organization, this harmony in each and every unit. We start reflecting on it. We start understanding And then ultimately, when we get to realization and we are able to see the submergence, then it all falls in place. Now there is no question left. Now there is no doubt. Now it is a deep assurance that things are the way they are and they will stay this way. That deep assurance you can get only when you are directly able to see the submergence of all the units in space. Then you understand how it became possible, how this was the case. So these three things of the essence, they are very significant, very important for us. Until and unless we see this, we don't have the right perspective about things. But in our present system of knowledge, the focus is elsewhere. The focus is on seeing, seeing what is rational. So we are really looking only at the surface. We are looking at the form and a little bit of the property of the units, but nothing more than that. Therefore, we don't see the relationship. Therefore, we don't see this whole essence, the coexistence, the harmony. We don't see that. And because we don't see all of this relationship, this harmony, this coexistence, we assume something about it based on whatever we are able to make out through the form and property, through
through the analyzing and comparing. So now when we see the units, our focus is on the units. There is a gap, there seems to be a gap between the units where we say there is nothing, maybe we say there is air, but we don't see the connection. We don't see the relatedness. We see the units as separate. Therefore, when we don't see our relatedness, we have all those feelings of opposition. We have contradiction within us. We are in disharmony. We feel life is a struggle. We feel we are forced to be a certain way because we are not able to see the essence. And this is what is leading to the majority of the problems today. Because even at the level of nations, we are not able to see this relatedness. So many of the nations are using more than 50% of their resources preparing for war. And if you ask them why they are preparing for war, they said, they'll say because they want peace. See the contradiction in there itself. But if we could see the relatedness, then we could use all these resources for, you know, we could rightly utilize them for the good of the people, for the good of humanity, for feeding people, for protecting them, rightly utilizing the body. So all that is possible only when we see the essence. Without the essence, we seem to be lost or we have assumed something which is not true. So, what do we need to do? We have to set our knowledge system right. We have to make this available to every child so that every child has the opportunity to look at this with a fresh start at least have this information and try to verify, explore, experiment with it, validate it for themselves and see. If we do that, and if in our knowledge system, this becomes you know, embedded in the knowledge system so that every child has this opportunity, then as these children grow up, and become responsible citizens, you will see a whole different picture. So many of our present day problems will be solved. I think this is where we stopped yesterday. We were saying that this is how things look when we are going from down up. When we are working slowly with trying to awaken to the activities one by one through contemplation to understanding and ultimately to realization. What is contemplation? Yeah, this activity that you know we have been talking about, the activity with which you are able to see the relatedness. In Hindi, we call it chintan. So whatever you are seeing, it is something more than that. Right now what we are seeing, we see through the gross eyes and we take it at face value, what it looks like. But when you are able to contemplate means, I don't want to say thinking because then it involves the lower activities, but something beyond that. You are reflecting on it, you are trying to see what is there that is having this relatedness. You start wondering about it. So you spend a lot of time, um, just you might be looking at the different units and trying to see them in a different light. 
all of this is happening when you are awakening to the activity of contemplation. So when you are awakening to the activity of contemplation, you will start seeing the relatedness, your relatedness with every other unit. And your focus will shift from expectation to playing your part. So when we say, you know, things are not working right, government is like this, people are like that, people should be better, they should be able to do this, they should be able to do that, they don't understand. Here what we are doing is, our focus is on things should change outside. This is what we are saying. I'm unhappy because things outside are like this and things outside must change. That is when we are working with expectation. But once we awaken to contemplation, then we start seeing the relatedness. I feel related to these people also who are, you know, not doing things the way I think they should. And with that concern, with that relatedness, I start seeing what I can do to help them. And you see how the focus shifts? It shifts from what should have happened outside to what can I do to help things change. Things change in the sense I'm not trying to change the other person. Rather, I'm having concern for the other person. And I would like for the other person also to be happy. Now that, you know, I am trying to have the right feeling, I can have the feeling of relatedness within me and see that I am happy with this feeling. Now I want to share it with the other. So it's not so much about changing the other person or making sure that the other person also sees that this, what I'm doing is useful and they must also see it like this. Rather, my focus shifts to concern for the other. Let's see, they are unhappy because they can't see this. How can I help them be happy? That becomes my focus. Not that I have to change them to my thought or my way of thinking. I hope that it clarifies. Our assignment was that when we are seeing or thinking about any unit, where is our focus? And I'm not asking for where should be our focus, but in our living, in day-to-day -day practice, where do we see ourselves focusing? Are we paying attention to the form, the property, the natural characteristic, the innateness, or the coexistence? Which part is our focus on? If we become aware of this, then we can also reflect on that part of the units which is unchanging, which is continuous, which is definite. So if anybody would like to share their reflections from yesterday, we can take a couple. When I see the other units, in my case, most of the times my focus is on the form, the shape, mm -hmm. how it looks, mm -hmm. and what is its, what are the properties? Mm -hmm. Like... Uh, any table or chair but when it comes to something like trees or animals then I am able to see a little more uh, about the contribution of that tree or the animal and the participation of trees and animals in the my being my existence but when I think uh, about coexistence I am still not able to see. I just see that things are there. Everything is there. I am also there. <clears throat> we are in a common space, sharing the things. But not more than that, I am able to see at this moment. Yeah, very related, nice. Yeah, when I talk about relatedness with human beings, animals and trees, I am able to see that, yes, there is a relation with all the human beings earlier it was you know very small circle 
but now uh, the circle has increased now i am able to see even the relationship with those with whom i am not related to and i am able to see that okay so any any other person is also having a role in, in my participation uh, in the larger order uh, for example if i am going on the road and if the road is not good so i am observing this thing also that if the person driving in front of me he is taking care while driving i am you know trying to follow that person in my car okay so he is taking care of the you know, mud and all these things and putting on brakes and i am following that person i am not knowing that person mm -hmm. but still i am following so i am able to see that okay without any communication without even seeing his face just because he is driving in front of me and i am observing that he is taking great care while driving i am also following so in a way he is also helping me he mm -hmm. or she i don't know whether he, he was driving or she was driving but with things like you know non living things i am not able to see much of the things about non living things except the form and property and mm -hmm. this thing that it is there that's right. all that i observed didi very nice so it's true that you know most of us will be focusing largely on the form and the property rather than the relatedness the innateness the coexistence because that is what we are awakened to and that is what we see when we see through the gross eyes and so we have to spend more time um going inward and trying to see things directly through the self till we do that our focus will be here only at what we can see through the gross eyes and whatever interpretation we can make through the gross eyes but like you said you know with the information that we are getting at least we are thinking about these things and slowly as we keep working with our feeling as we keep seeing what is naturally acceptable to us we will become less and less in conflict and we will be able to have more calm within that we will start seeing these higher activities unfolding within us because they are already there we just have to be able to see them right now we can't see them because of all the confusion the cloud of uh, conflict that we have created within ourselves so as we become more and more calm and as we keep with that uh, decision that you want to be able to see the relationship you want to be able to see the innateness you want to be able to see the coexistence slowly these activities will unfold but we have to make the effort and we have to bring it in our living so like we were talking the other day if i am not able to see my relationship with every other human being and i am having feelings of opposition even for my close or distant relatives then i can't expect to be able to see the coexistence because i am still struggling with the activity of contemplation i have not yet been able to ensure my feeling i have not yet been able to see my relatedness with other human beings so without that to expect to be able to see something far more subtle that won't be possible so it's okay to accept that right now i can't see that but i must be aware that this potential is there in me like it is in everybody else that possibility is there and we can get to it eventually and we will get to it yeah yes but the about all these uh, <clears throat> objects like tables chairs mm -hmm. i just feel that it is there sometimes it is often some use to me sometimes it is it is just there so so i am not able to see the relationship or anything like that with any object yeah 
So the objects also, you can see that it is part of the physical facility, right? And it is helping you in some way to rightly utilize your body. Okay. Yeah, that 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 thing is fine that I am able to see. Yeah. But then you there see, are many things which are not of. No? So it's not like you are exchanging feelings with the physical facility, but you have the right feeling for rightly utilizing the physical okay. facility. Okay. So if I this have, way. say, supposing I have lots of chairs and tables and I'm not using them in my house, rather I'm just busy cleaning, dusting, locking the room so that these things don't get dirty, but I'm not really using them. There aren't enough people in the house to use them. And they're just occupying space and yeah, it is more of a problem for me to keep cleaning them. Then I will start looking at, or even before that, I will start looking at the right utilization of these. So if I can't use them, I will share them with somebody who can use them, for whom this might be more like a necessity. For me, it is... Um, a surplus thing which I don't need it's just there in fact it is causing more of a problem for me to maintain it so I will start sharing with others those who don't have so if I have you know, I need only two beds but I have like five beds in the house then I will give them to somebody who doesn't have any bed see what I'm saying Yes, yes. Okay. So this utilization part, uh, I have to see. Uh, Diti, nowadays I am what I am observing is my attention. Uh, I mean, first of all, my observation has increased. Earlier, I was only busy in doing my own work and feeling loaded that though so so much of work is there. But now my activities are little smooth i feel in the calmness while i feel that like time is uh, i mean i have to go somewhere by this time and if my work is even pending even then i don't feel disturbed or feelings anxiety that how i will do that part i would be able to overcome and coolly, I used to do, and work has gone to be finished in time. Second, uh, like physical facility, I don't have attention on that. But with the existing nature, like trees, fruits, plants, now my observation has increased how that in my campus, we have so many mango trees are there. So... Uh, while walking, I used to observe today the size of the fruit is this. Now it has increased. And like now I am observing that all man mango fruits are uh, like uh, they have dropped and no, no mango tree. No mangoes are there in the tree. In my house, I have a tulsi plant and I am trying that it, it should, I mean, some more sapling should come but during the summer no I could not able to see that any new sapling has come but yesterday only I observed that a little green leaf I can see that it is growing so that observation has increased that nice. attention now is going on for all these things very nice but only up to the physical forms and little on the property part of it. Yeah. So it will take some time. Yeah. And um, that's okay. We can give it some time. So this is just a chart of the co coexistence expressing itself in the four orders. I think we have talked enough about this. Okay. So if you see in this chart, again, the same things. Um, it is a repetition more or less. The coexistence or the submergence, when we see that, we see all the units, they are submerged in space. This we can see 
from the point of realization. So only when we awaken to the activity of realization, when we are able to see the subtle reality, the space, only then can we see units submerged in space. Before that, how would we see it? Isn't it? So we have to, when we awaken to the activity of realization, then we are able to see this submergence. Then if you look at the innateness, the self-organization, you see all these units are self-organized. They are in a certain, they, they function in a very well-defined, in a very definite manner, which is unchanging. This I am able to see really when I awaken to the activity of understanding. From there, I can see that each cell, each unit, each small, from the smallest unit to the largest unit, each of these units seem to be very well organized. And they are self-organized. We are not doing anything for it. Still things are happening in a very well-defined manner. And then they are participating together and becoming one big, you know, unit or, you know, a larger whole. And there also you can see the harmony. So this is all part of the innateness. This I am able to see when I awaken to the activity of understanding. Then if you look at the natural characteristic, next slide please. If you look at the natural characteristic, this we are able to see well, like we said, when we awaken to the activity of contemplation. So when I awaken to the activity of contemplation, I see my relatedness with every other unit. And I see the relatedness of every other unit with every other unit. So I am able to sort of see that each unit in nature is recognizing its relationship and fully fulfilling this relationship with every other unit. But even though I may have awakened to the activity of contemplation, ultimately this um, completion of this really happens when I reach the activity of realization, when I'm able to see space, because then it all fits then I have this total assurance that this is how it is. The relatedness is already there. I don't have to create it. It's there and I see it with each and every unit. So if I see my relatedness with some people, but not with others, then I can't say that I have awakened to the activity of contemplation because my role is not yet clear to me. My participation is yet to be you know, fulfilled from my side. But we can work on it. We can keep making the effort. You become more and more calm. So there is nothing to lose and rather everything to gain by making this effort. So ultimately, then we are able to see all the characteristics for all the four orders the way it is then there is no further um, sort of a doubt. There is this complete assurance about that which is unchanging, that which is definite and universal. Next slide. And all of this, where am I seeing? I'm seeing it within myself. So the provision is there. These higher activities, they are already there within me. I just have to awaken to them, what we call unfold, unfolding of this. Or, you know, I become aware of them. And how I become aware of them, how soon I become aware of them, that all depends on how much attention I pay there. Isn't it? So again, the same thing has been put here. 
if you're looking at the activity of contemplation, when I awaken to the activity of contemplation, I have clarity about the relationship, about the natural characteristic for every unit and about the participation of every unit in the larger order. Not only that, I am very clear about my participation and it comes in my living. So I will see my relatedness with every unit. I will have concern for every unit of every order, whether it be physical, whether it be bio, whether it be animal, or whether it be other human beings, whoever that human being may be. And whatever their thoughts and ideas may be like. So this is with the activity of contemplation. Next, if we awaken to or when we awaken to the activity of understanding, then we have clarity about the harmony that is there in every unit in nature. So we are able to see the self-organization in every unit, the innateness of every unit, including myself as a unit. We talked about that. The innateness of the body, the innateness of every single unit in the existence. We get clarity about that. And next one. If we, when we eventually awaken to the activity of realization, then we get this clarity and this assurance when we see the coexistence, when we see the submergence that all the units are submerged in space, when we directly see it, then we have this assurance that this is how the relatedness is already there. Now there is no confusion, no doubt. Now I know. And with that, now I can bring all my lower activities in line with this understanding, what we call right understanding. So now I see things the way they are. I'm able to see, you know, now that I have seen the submergence, every unit of every order I am able to place in the chart, I am able to see how this, these units are, uh, you know, adhering to the characteristics of the orders. They don't suddenly change. I am also able to see the possibility that this can happen or this can be um, shared because now i am able to see all the way up to realization i am able to ensure the right feeling within me i am able to understand things the way they are now as a natural progression of this i see my participation as wanting to share this with others so i try to share it with others and in that process i can see that this is possible to not only share within this generation, but also to have more and more and more people become aware and take it further to the next generation and the next and the next. So it can become a human tradition. So that I may not be around to see it, but this knowledge will be available to the children, the grandchildren and the great grandchildren, not just mine, but for everyone. So it becomes a human tradition. So all this is possible through human education and sanskar. And therefore this drive to try to accomplish that. And slowly it is happening. Things are moving. You would think that what can I do as a single person when the government is like this, when the system is like this, when people are like that. But you can see that what committed volunteers can do, what one person may not be able to do. But when we get together, we have strength in numbers and we can achieve a lot, much of it. And as we start achieving this, we find 
that the systems also seem to you know acknowledge the effort and they seem to now help in this process so on the one hand there are the people the volunteers who are you know just doing this without any um sort of um expectation of some gain monetary gain or anything like that and on the other hand you have the systems which start supporting slowly when they see the impact of this when they see the effort that is being put in and the impact that is happening so ultimately this is how it is so when i am seeing if we go from bottom to top from lower to the higher activity then when i am seeing from the point of selecting tasting then i am only able to see some part of the form no the shape the size the color and some part about the property so if i am focusing on the form the size the color the selecting tasting part then i may um you know be concerned about the clothes that i wear how i look what is my hair style like and so many things like that so my focus is on the form so you see many people going to the gym so that they can have well toned bodies that look good so here the focus may be on the form so everything that i do the decisions that i make every day i can see where my focus is the same thing i could be doing the same activity but my focus would be elsewhere so when i am at the level of selecting tasting i may eat tasty food just because i like the taste of it but then as i start seeing you know when i start looking from the level of analyzing comparing when i start seeing the property of that unit the effect of the unit one unit on another and i am able to see the effect of that food tasty food on the body now i may change my decision based on this so earlier i may have been focusing on just the selecting tasting part you will find small children unless you talk to them and make it known to them they will go for the taste something they like something that is tasty they want to have more of that but if you talk to them if you guide them if you ask them to check with their natural acceptance based on whether they want to nurture the body or they want to harm the body so if you you know show them the path a little bit you will find they choose to nurture the body and even if that thing is not so tasty they may opt for it you will find such changes happening in us also as we go from the lower to the higher activities so when we see the impact of things so foods and things like that on the body then we may choose to have things even which are not so nice tasting maybe little bitter or whatever but we see that this is nurturing for the body so we make the choice for it over and above that choice of just the taste see so like this we can see when we awaken to the activity of contemplation we have clarity about our relatedness with every other unit the natural characteristic of every other unit and so we so we have our participation in the larger order we pay attention to that and we participate we play our part 
we see our role in each and every situation with other human beings with the other orders in nature so when i see my relatedness i don't just see my relatedness with a few people in my family i see my relatedness with every human being that is when i awaken to the contemplation then like we were discussing i don't i stop complaining about other people and how they are not doing things right rather i start focusing on what i can do to help those that lack understanding because i can see my relatedness with each and every person and each and every unit out of all the four orders when we awaken to the activity of understanding then we have clarity about the harmony that is there in every unit in existence in each and every order the self organization that is there because of which every unit is functioning in such a well defined manner and then i see that all these units that are coming together to form a larger bigger whole there is still harmony in that there is no infighting among the units they are working together in a very well defined manner and if we take guidance from this and if we could see you know in our offices in our places of work if everybody could be working in a self organized manner very often you see it in the volunteers in the work that is being done because people are able to appreciate this fact that what is my role what is my participation and take responsibility for that so nobody has to keep reminding and telling people that see you have to do your session you must come in time and all those things it is happening in a very self organized way with everybody taking responsibility for their task seeing their role seeing the participation and seeing that ultimately it is about things happening in a smooth manner things happening in a self organized way with definiteness so this is some very big achievement that so many workshops have happened and are continuing to happen this is all with the help of the volunteers even for people where you pay salaries you may not get this committedness how committed the volunteers are so that is something to be appreciated something that we can all feel good about of course the exploration work must continue along with this so like we said on the one hand we are working for realization within on the other hand we are also sharing whatever it is that we can share based on our competence in the way of our participation our behavior outside so this is happening ultimately when we reach the level of realization when we are able to directly see the space and the submergence then we get the clarity of the coexistence now everything falls in place now the basis for this relatedness the basis for the self organization the basis for all of this definiteness becomes very clear now there are no questions no doubts and with that once we have clarity about that then we can guide our lower activities in this slide we were going from lower to higher activities now let us see how it looks when you are coming from the higher to the lower activities so if we can see you know at the level of realization if we have the clarity of coexistence 
in existence. Then we can see with this, you know, everything it becomes authenticated for us, it becomes clear to us. Now there is no doubt. And with this, there is a decision in me to bring all my lower activities in line with this. Now this becomes my guide. So with that realization, now it falls into place how things are self-organized. I am able to see that very clearly. Now the basis for that is very sure. So on that basis now, I can see my role also very clearly, my participation. I can see what I need to do. I see that in the existence, this is how things are. Now, how I can live in coexistence, that becomes what I'm trying to do. And so I bring all these lower activities, my desires, my feelings, my thoughts, my expectations, all in line with this, what I am able to see at the level of realization. So now this coexistence, this harmony, this relationship, this is what guides my senses. Yeah. Earlier, I may have been focusing on profit, more and more physical facility. Now, these guide my whatever profit. So now I see my focus becomes well-being of all, not just my own gain, but well-being of all. Rather than just focusing on getting more and more resources using more and more resources to keep the body healthy and then using that body for getting good taste, getting happiness through the sensation, I may be able to see my role, have the right feeling, feeling of self-regulation for the body and do my part so that I make the effort to keep the body healthy. And then with the body healthy, I also have a very clear view. I have clarity about the purpose of this healthy body. And so I work with this. I see, you know, I rightly utilize the body. Now I don't use the senses for getting just pleasure. Rather, my senses are also guided by coexistence, by harmony, by relationship. That becomes my guide for everything, all my lower activities, they fall in line. 